I think that's fit. It's exactly. really it's nice. It's really nice. That colour's yeah. like that burnt orange one. It's really thing. nice. It's really nice. Look at that one. That was nice. Look at that colour burgundy. Yeah, that, that one there nice. went for 80 bones. That's a find. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, it's just going to be me and Lola. We're going to be reaching about. It's like a couple of days after Christmas, so not many shops are open, so we're going to just see what we can find. And I hope you enjoy. This stuff we've got this. I don't even know if it's proper, proper, but it's a barber dress tartan. Looks like a polo shirt. It's like a bit of a spicy v-neck. Oh, Alice dear polo. I don't know. It's two quid. Just got the tartan trim in it, so I might give that one a go. So Lola found this. I'm not sure if it's like we're going to pick it up, but it's a good point. So this is wrap London dress, yeah? But if you try and search for a wrap, wrap dress. dress, you're going to get a few. <laughs> you're going to get a wrap dress. Yeah. So basically, this is how you do it. You type in wrap dress, you get pretty much every single wrap dress, 51,000. So what you need to do is, on the filters, go to brand and just type in search in brand, wrap. And guess what? Wrap London. There's only 101 of them. So it kind of shortens it a little bit for you. So it just makes it a little bit quicker to be able to find stuff that has a style name rather than just a unique brand name. Now look at this. Go on. What brand is it? Rib Kaufman. Mate, you're good. What did I say? What did I say, mate? I'm a connoisseur. I'm a connoisseur good. of the ladies' clothing. You knew it was, you knew it was going to be Rib Kaufman. Well, I know. I knew what it was because I saw it, but... Lola, you don't... I don't mess about, mate. Well trust done. Me. That's the only thing I found at the minute. Okay. It's a bit of a spicy V-neck, but look at that. That's isn't it? I think it's men's. Is it? Or not? What is it? I think that's women's. Okay, well, we'll take it anyway. I'm not sure how much you'll do. It might, it's two quid, so it might, it might go for like 15 quid. It could be men's, actually, actually quid. for a small, yeah. yeah. It's probably. Well then, do you know Phil Collins at all? No, I don't. <laughs> I've never heard that song. No. We're going to have to play it in the car now. Okay. We're going to have to play it in the play car. Play it for me and I'll... Mate, I'm proper on Phil Collins at the I'll, minute. I'll listen to it. Yeah, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So I like about these um, cancer research, you three pound ones. You just have random stuff in them. Really random. Like, look at this. Jim London Festival Fest, or whatever you call it, 2008. This year. Just a Sabuti OT from 2014. A bit gutted because this is like, what, three days too late? I'm feeling it, you know, I'm feeling it. I might take it, you know, just for next year. Look at that. That is a Hogs, if I can show you. Hogs of Fife moleskin shirt. It's like a hunting shirt. So this could do maybe 25, 30 pounds, something like that. So it's a pretty good one. What have you found, though? I've got a vintage, is it vintage? Yeah, I think it is. Fred Perry, women's size 12. It's like quilted. Yeah. Got the fur on Quilted the back. Quilted bomber. Yo, that is like a proper... This is like when I was in school, this, isn't it? Is this a yard iron? Yard iron coat. That's a proper yard iron coat. Yard iron. Buzzing, mate. Buzzing, mate. <laughs> That's well beefy. That's well shader. That's well shader. We've got a few bits in here, but probably not going to pick them up. This is a Berghaus coat. It's one of those AQ2 ones, so it's not like a Gore-Tex on it. It's just a bit faded. And then there's a spray way here, which is a bit decked as well, so I'm not really feeling that one. But... This is something which I always see, but I never really pick up, is DKNY. Now, they say it's men's, it's 20 quid, but it is a women's, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. It's all right, innit? But 20 quid, some of the comps are really good. Some of the prices and stuff you can get for stuff like this, like top end, I've seen for like 200 quid and stuff, but I just think for 20 pound, there's ones which are going for like 40, 50 quid, so I'm not sure this is like anything special, but We'll just keep that there for now. I'll think about it. Get yeah, this spray away fleece though. You don't really sell for much, only like £20, £25 for that. So it's a fiver, standard. Nice and fluffy. And it's a large, so it's just like a decent size as well. So just a nice basic thing just to get the party started. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wait. Oh, is this fake? Oh, it's fake. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. The uh, label is on the wrong side. And look at that stitching as well. Really bad. But just look at that. It's obviously fake. But I do like Fred Perry jumpers. Just not on Twitch, uh, Frank. Favourite find of the day. This is an absolute beaut. Vintage Ralph Lauren rugby shirt. You can tell it's a rugby shirt by uh, the button. It's like a rubber button. And it's like got that reinforced everywhere bit. I've literally just sold one of these. The one I picked up from America for about 45 quid, I think it was. Maybe a little bit cheaper. But this is a double XL. Oh, mate, how beautiful is that? Just love the colour in it. I find the ones that stripe do a bit better, I think. But I'm not an expert. But I just know these rugby shirts always do well, especially when they're Ralph Lauren. 
chuffed with that. I'm really chuffed. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? It's kind of like the one we picked up in America, isn't it? Yeah, that one sold. How much did you sell that for? I think it was like 40 quid. I overestimated it a little bit. So but nice. And for saying it's white, it's pristine. Yeah, it's like really good condition. Oh, I Chuffed like with that, it. isn't it? Yeah, I really, really like nice. that. I've got some bits over there, but just this bam. Okay. It's all right, that, doesn't it? Jumper, five pound. I just sold the other bam thing. It only sold for like 15, something quid. But it's, it's a, a hoodie. Jumper. Oh, no. Well, oh, no, it's just dusty. It's a bit fine. dusty. I thought That's it all right, was. Then. Right, let's have a look at the rest of the stuff. There's, I think there's some bits over there in the corner you wanted to show me, so let's have a quick look. Look at it. Tell you what, we've got some good bits here. Oof. Lola, I'll show you we get to the car, but some really good bits here. Good bits. Really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell. Show you, let me show you a bit. Right. Bits we couldn't show in the shop. Yeah, cause... I'm just going to take a seat here. <sighs> nice. You a bit, it's a bit bright. Yeah, I just like, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I didn't get lots to be fair but there was these two weird fish there's a half zip yeah and a full zip what is it called again the style uh macaroni but it's more like a it looks more like knitted doesn't it but so the, i know but the colorway is really nice if it like it's very gentle nice size 14. yeah and it, they're just really pretty i like them so cool. anyway that's all right look at this here polo golf stuff ralph lauren Oof. stuff yeah that's old, isn't it? Though, is it's a bit. It? It's a bit older, and it's got what Dundonald Links. Yeah, I know that place. Yeah. Yeah. Been there Trump a time or two. I think old school Ralph Lauren golf stuff does quite well, so I'm pretty sure for that. And then this one. This is just like a nice standard Gant thing. Oh, double XL as well. It's a nice size. Yes. Yeah. Lamb, lamb's wool. Just Four nice. Four pound for a bit of that. But this. Look at oh, that. It's, it's nice. nice that. It? Sorry. This is the beast. Valentino jeans. Yeah. Valentino. So it's a vintage Valentino jumper. Christmassy as well. It's Christmassy. Virgin. Wool. Mary. Yeah. Joseph. Virgin. Christmas is done now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we can put it to bed. I just love that label. It's so old school. And it was £4. I haven't found any ties for a long time. So look at this one here. This is Eden Park. Don't know much about it. I'm pretty sure it's a French brand, but they always have the bow on it. Um, None have sold, but I know Eden Park stuff is really good, especially like the rugby stuff that they do. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm not sure how much they are. I think, uh, oh, they're £2 each. So, yeah. And then this, I haven't seen for ages. Paul Swift tie with the rose kind of mini tie holder, whatever we call that a little bit. But I sold one of these ages ago for like £30, £30. Like, it was good, like, a good few years ago. So it might have changed the price and stuff, but loving it. This is just one of those t-shirts which could sell for like 15, maybe 20. It's like a single stitch, old school Louisiana on a Delta label. It's nothing amazing, but I do like it. So how much is it? Three pound. And this was made in 90, I think it's 98. So I always love taking that kind of stuff. And as you can see here, um, it's got a single stitch. So normally, on t-shirts, there's two stitches there, but this is single, which means it's normally maybe 40,000, so it's like a genuine old t-shirt. It's not really popular in this side of the world, I don't think, but people still buy them because it's like quite rare stuff, so it's quite a nice little print on it as well. This is pretty green, but it's way in your face. Uh, it's a large seven pound now. I've got, I don't know, I feel like this could possibly sell for a bit more just because of how the style is. It's like that old 2000 style, isn't it? Not sure, I'll hold on to it and think about it. I'll let you know. There you go. Thank you very much. You Cheers. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. I'm looking at these. Handball Specials. Um, like the Adidas ones. I've got a pair of them on myself. I do like them, I've got the black ones. Um, size nine, but in fact, where's the price? It's on this one here. But it's 15 quid, so I'm a bit gutted. I probably won't pick it up for that price because I think they can go for about 40 quid or something like that. So it's a shame really because I know there's some colorways which do a lot better, but that's just like a pretty standard one, isn't it? Yo, do you remember that, um, do you remember that ultimate equipment jacket I picked up the other day? Oh, yeah. Well, the last, like, last year or something was. Yeah. It's 15 quid an hour, but it's like proper vintage walking gear. I need to check because I'm pretty sure I'm not be decent, but see, look, there you go. Like I thought it was. Obviously, there's an active at £100. Yeah, ultimate equipment, so it's vintage 80s. And this one here went for £65. Oh, 
Let me just see if all the poppers work. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, I think that's fit. It's Definitely. really it's nice. It's really nice. That comes yeah. like that burnt orange it's looking. It's really thing. nice. Really nice. But it's got the whole fill, so it's like one of the first, I think it's one of the first ones to have polyester, polyester fill. Polyester, rather than down. Rather than down. But like, you got a posh polyester, so yeah. it's like, acts like a down. Look at that one, that was nice. Look at that colour burgundy. Yeah, that, that one there went nice. for 80 bones. That's a find. Yeah. It's a beaut, it's a beaut. And there's this jewels jacket here, which is, 20 pound but can you see that mm. how do you describe that when it's all like bitting out of the corners it's bobbly mate it's bobbly bobbly that's it but yeah 20 pound for that but it's too bobbly 20 pound though come on oh it's heavy it is heavy a bit expensive this shot but it's all right i think that jacket should do pretty well like sometimes i pick up some 15 so i go for 65 sometimes i don't it just, I don't know. I just make it up as I go along, so don't trust me and everything. But I'm pretty sure this will sell quite quick because there's not a lot of stuff like this. And when it when it appears, like the vintage stuff, people try and grab it because they don't know when they're ever going to get it again. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, the other thing we picked up was this random jelly cat pig. Now, if you know about jelly cats, you know, like, some of them are worth a lot. Some of them can, like, pay your mortgage. And some of them are just, like, 20 quid. I think this one's, like, a 20 quid one. So, either way, I keep a lookout for him and he might be doing all right. So, I think we've got a couple more shops and then we can call it a day. I think this is something pretty cool. This is a alumni t-shirt, like a University of Derby year of 1994. And it's just got all the names of random people um, who graduated that year. So one of these guys has lost a t-shirt and they're gonna want it back. This is the kind of stuff which I freaking love, man. I'm pretty sure someone's have that one. What do you reckon? Look, Derby Uni. 94, and it's just got all the graduates. Do you think someone would actually imagine searching for that though? No, I mean, people search for the most I bet you think about it. Christmas conversation, yeah? Because yeah. I had some friends around. Oh, do you remember when we graduated? Do you remember that t shirt that we all got? I lost mine. Oh man, I'm good. I wonder if it's on eBay. Yeah. I'll just see if there's one on eBay. What? 700 quid? Yeah, I'll buy that straight away. Yeah, 700. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, either way, I think that would be a pretty, uh, that'd be a pretty good purchase. Someone will probably buy that for like what? Maybe 15, 20 quid or something? I don't know. Just depends how much they uh, appreciated the time at Derby, isn't it? Just this one. So. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? It is. The last time we were just like. Yeah, on fire. And then now it's just a little bit of a slim picking situation, but it's what it's like. You win some, you lose some. Yep. It is indeed. It's a win the end. It's looking a bit posh, aren't it? Fat face. Feel it though, it's nice. 100% what? Your mum. I don't think it's my mum, but I've <laughs> got a few bits here. Let me see if I can find loader, see if I can shove it. Right, let's start off with this one. Pretty sure that's a reversible burghouse. Is that reversible? Yeah, it is. It's reversible, isn't it? Yeah. yeah? Reversible burghouse, that'll just be well. It's quite in good condition as well. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. And that's Fiverr, I think. Heli Hansen, I think. Oh, yeah. That's a Fiverr as well. It's nice. one of those big ones. I'm not sure if it's like a... Heli Tech or whatever you call it, I don't know, but it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Fiverr, pretty yeah. good. I'm thinking of this, Ted Pig, I think, because it's just like a knit shawl neck. Because it's a cowl. Yeah, because it's, it's a salmon cowl neck. But this, it's nothing. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to try and work out what this is, because, again, it's one of those things, it seems a bit, um, what do you call it, sentimental. So I'm going to have a look. Do you remember that Highland Mountain Games freaking jumper I picked oh, up yeah. for like one pound? That sold for like 30 quid. Yeah. It's from 1980, so. Sure. RS, RSBC Rowing, yeah? The Reading School Boat Club. So that's what that is. Reading School Boat Club. There you go then. So it has a following of some sort. Yeah. And again, it's a bit faded, looks a bit old. Yeah, it does. I can imagine, imagine it like, do you know what I mean? Like if it's old school, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So cool I think guys. I'm going to give it a go. Like I've had success before. We'll see if we can have success again. But a few bits are there. I think that's all right, isn't it? Good free advertising. No, well, that's what I mean. Front of the shop and that. Yeah, no, I like, I like to wear. Uh, because that's me at the end of the day. If more people come in, you get more stuff. Sold, don't you? That's Do you know what I mean? And that's it. That's what yeah. you want, isn't it, really? Appreciate it, remember? Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day, yeah. Take care. Right, see you. See you. Big shout out to Falling Up Skills at Branson Bernardo. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. You too. I mean, I feel like the whole point is shop second hand. Donate. And shop second hand. And shop. Keep these places alive. Big up, Bernardo's. 
Branston, is Big it? Big up Branston Bernardo's, not Branston Pickles. Well, I think that was a, what would you call that day? Would you say it's like a mediocre, standard? Medi All right, mediocre joker. But we have filled two bags. Yeah. But it's just not a 33 items in one shop kind of day, that's all. I think we did all right. So I found this in the shop that I work in and I had no clue that it was worth what it's worth. I just picked it up for shy love. I thought maybe she can wear it when we're in Mexico or... Look at that. It would just be cool for How her to wear. Well, Come on, man. You don't sell any children's items at all. And obviously I know Jordan Knight was like, is it fake? I, I like, no. Yeah? I had no clue. You go there so the lighting is facing. Sorry. Yeah? You. So anyway, she brought this home and I was like, well, do you actually know what this is? And she was like, yeah, it's a, it's a grow. <laughs> what do you call these? A dungarees. A dungarees and that. But I was like, oh, this is like original Jordan stuff. I just saw it and I thought it was cool. I, could, I, I don't even know why I picked it up because I did not think at all that you could this resell is, it. And that's the type of finds though. That's the type of finds like a lot of my I best finds. I just attracted to it. Exactly. My best finds have just been, oh, I think, oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah. And then it turns out it's actually really sick. Do you know what I mean? It's just so, a magnetic touch, isn't it? It's yeah. like you're being guided. Exactly. So it, should, it just has all the right stuff. But I've seen something very similar go for about £200. The only problem is, it's just this here. Little clasp. So we need something on there to fix that. I'm not sure what I'm going to get yet. Or I'm, what's it on this one? It's just you're just missing that little bit on it. Oh, just a little metal bit. So yeah. I'm sure I could fix that myself. To be fair though, you did better today, and I'm going to give you that pair. You did all right. You did a lot better. I'm you did sure. not better than I'm not saying you you you're crap. I mean, Improvement. You you're... Did, no, I mean that you did better than me today. <laughs> yeah, like I appreciate you, that. you did. I, I, yeah, it wasn't a good day for me. No, that's all right then. Nice. But I enjoyed watching you Thank get you. get the good stuff. So yeah, it can't be always you all day, can it? <laughs> Can't be old you, can it? Yeah. She got me a Christmas. I was absolutely buzzing, yeah. Probably buzzing. I'm gonna have to show you. But give me two sex. In fact, you can show your Christmas okay, present. This and I'll is get my busy Christmas present from Pete. It's a neon health pod, I think it is. Um and it's just a it's just a diffuser that diffuses essential oils, but it is divine and it has like different settings, different light settings. You can't see it now, so lights on. But it don't matter about that, does it? Because this was the ultimate Grayley, Grayley Christopher's ever. <laughs> like, I was, honestly, it made my whole life. Someone said, someone messaged me said, that they had an instant man on. <laughs> if you know what a man on is, you know what a man on is. Look at this. Oh. Oof. Just got to really screws out of the way. Got a couple of projects around the house. So, and then my car as well. So, we're going to be kicking in something soon. Just this in it. Look at it. Look at that sound. Ooh wee. Ooh. <laughs> But this is my favourite tool. Don't know what it does yet. But it just makes a nice sound as well. Spin. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, don't mess about with that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, as always, hit the like button. Leave us a nice comment. Lola's back on it. She's been messaging everybody now. Bye. Hey, we've, we've got some new faces. I'm, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the Yeah, show. we've got some new people on the one. On the yeah, so. a lady from Canada. Yeah. So, um, and someone else from somewhere else. Yeah, just lots of you, so. Thanks for subscribing and we will keep whipping out videos as much as we can and we just make up as we go along. Yeah. So yeah. And we will see you in a bit.